we brought the Gleaner Combine on Schlater Farms because of the transition with John Deere. We were John Deere people in the beginning, and we have always ran John Deere Combines. And when they went to the 9000 series, we thought it would be a good opportunity to look and see the differences in the combines that were being offered at that time. So we actually ran the John Deere Combine, we ran a International at that time, and we also ran the Gleaner. And that's what we stuck with, was the Gleaner. We noticed the power capability was a, a far better than the International, and we needed capacity in, in the Gleaner Combine. We are on ridge till, we needed bin capacity, and we needed to get through the field with the power for carrying that load. We can carry almost 300 bushel in the bin, and that gets us through on half mile rows with the ridge till operation. I think Gleaner has kept up, and I think they've surpassed some of them. Some of them are just now, I think, catching up with Gleaner. When we were in the market of looking for a different combine, we needed more capacity in a combine. And uh, when we started looking around, um, we, uh, we were looking at the other, other brands of combines. And this is one combine that we thought had a few advantages over all the other combines. The other thing that I've seen that was a big plus for us uh, in small grains, especially wheat, uh, the job that we did harvesting with field loss was greatly improved compared to, to what we used to do with the John Deere equipment. There's just, I mean, there's just no comparison there. Um, corn, definitely a uh, lot more gentle on the corn a lot less uh, breakage and something that just happened to be this year with our very dry uh, moisture we had coming out of the field this year uh, boy we just slowed that rotor down and as far as having any trouble busting that corn up and stuff it just come out of the machine beautiful i can't imagine another combine keeping up with it, it it's a uh, excellent tough crop combine we don't need, like other people have, these hopper toppers and things. You've got plenty of capacity right here. We no-till, and uh, one of our things is that we don't want to get so much capacity that uh, we're out there compacting that soil in the fall if it happens to be a little damp. So this is more than adequate in all of our fields, and we run some long fields to get up and back and be able to dump. Well, the features of the Gleaner that, that I'm kind of that I really like is uh, is your uh, natural flow, and that is super because your grain comes in, it, it just makes your natural twist and it, it gets a, uh, it exits from the other side and there's really no uh, interference or anything. It's just a just really a good way of cleaning the accelerator rollers, uh, which accelerate the grain down so that you can get a cleaner sample. Uh, that works excellent. Uh, if you don't need to buy an extra deal to spread your chaff, like your chaff gets spread real well, the straw gets spread really well. Uh, no expensive straw choppers to uh, to uh, mount on there. All you need is a little spreader, and and you do just as good a job as anybody else with a with a chopper. Uh, the big tank, the 330 bushel tank, that's excellent. I just love that because a guy can uh, keep up with one truck and uh, haul, haul, uh, haul away and still not have the combine waiting. Uh, the serviceability in the motor is just, you, you open that up, you can almost have a dance around there, a two-step. It's lots of room and, and uh, that's excellent. When we're running the, the Gleaner Combine and we're using the rotor processor, we're not seeing the grain loss out of the rear of the combine. Most of the grain is going into the grain tank. Uh, very, very minimal grain loss, where a lot of the other combines that we've used in the past, that was the one thing, that's how you went out to set the combine, to see how much you had laying on the ground. A lot of times when we're with, working with the cleaners, we'll go out and look in the back of this, on the back on the ground, and there's nothing there. So it's very difficult to try to figure out where you need to work on some, on some uh, adjustments. The capacity on the R52 uh, compared to the deer that we had would have been in the same class of machine. There's no doubt, uh, you know, we was originally running a 20 foot head and we went to a 25 foot head on this machine and we've been able to, to run the same field speed. So I know that in uh, the small grains that 
that we definitely can take that that crop in faster and uh, more even uh, with that 800 series head than what we was with with our John Deere equipment uh, corn uh, I don't know how fast you could run one of them. <laughs> I think you could. Uh, I, I don't know if you'd want to go to road gear or not, but no, I, no you, def, you definitely can uh, hog some corn. And when I'm uh, running next to a, a John Deere or next to an International, I'm outperforming it quite a bit just because of the fact I can run so much faster and carry so much more grain. They're unloading a lot. I'm not unloading as near as much as they are. So it's a, it's a big performance factor in the end. When you're t working with time and you only have maybe 30 days to get a crop out before you start getting losses, you need to be able to, to or maximize that machine. I don't like to brag, but I think I've got one of the best combines for uh, for uh, sample quality, quality of grain. Uh, in fact, uh, some of the people that buy my uh, pea seed from me can't believe that I've only got uh, such a low percentage of cracked peas. So uh, it, it's a very gentle combine when it has to be gentle, and you can make it aggressive also if you, if you want to. So it's all around uh, excellent on, on coarse grains. With that accelerator rollers, pushing the product down on top of the, the chaffers, you get a real fine, clean sample. It does a, just a fantastic job. Well, that actually, that's what I like best about the gleaner is the grain quality. Uh, we consistently have zero dockage when we haul grain in. I also raised some seed for a seed company. And uh, last year, the seed beans, I didn't get to them on time, I was on another farm. By the time I got to them, they were down to 10% moisture. They came and took a sample, and I still had 99% whole beans, harvesting at 10% moisture. Uh, they were amazed, and I was really pleased. But I guess I wasn't surprised. That's, that's really what I like about the gleaner. Now, the elevator man ended up calling us when it was all said and done with and telling us that we had the cleanest grain coming in compared to the other combines. Sample quality is, is I believe, second to none. Um, I really like uh, the sample quality because of the accelerator rollers. It gives a real nice, clean sample. Um, it's got a very nice, large sieve area, uh, lots of cleaning capacity. Um, the rotor, um, uh, rotor, very little cracking. We find very little cracking in all the crops, in pulse crops and in wheat and barley. When we compare, when we're harvesting our tofu soybeans, we compare by the clean out that happens at the cleaning facility. And that cleaning facility runs through a clipper cleaner, then a spiral cleaner, and then a gravity table. And what we're finding out with the gleaner systems or the gleaner processor is, is that we're getting 4%, anywhere between 3 and 4% clean out, where the competitors' combines that we're bringing in tofu from are actually running anywhere from 12 to 14. Sometimes we're getting 16 and 18% clean out. That means splits and foreign material and things that we really don't want going into a tofu bag when we're exporting. Damage is non-existent with, with, in terms of what you have in the tank. Uh, grain loss, you can virtually eliminate that. The, the, I'm just convinced the gleaner is made so you can do as good a job as you want to do. Serviceability, very easy to service. Uh, probably if it wasn't, my brother wouldn't want to do it every morning. But <laughs> it's very easy to service. Uh, even uh, when, you know, certain breakdowns or whatever, it's very simple to, to repair. Uh, your biggest problem, like uh, with any combine, would probably be your cylinder. The other brands, not to put them down or anything, but they've got a lot of stuff that, I mean, you got to get step ladders to get to and stuff, and this thing here, it just comes apart very simple. I, I can't imagine any other competitive make being simpler to service. 
Um, we do all our own work, um, whatever it may be, from pulling the rotor. We can have the rotor out on the floor in 20 minutes. Um, so servicing is, is as simple as you're ever going to see in any combine of them of that size. Accessibility of, of daily greasing and uh, the ability to get up into the engine compartment is a lot better for us. Uh, probably I'd say half the time that what we spend in getting a John Deere and going over it. One reason why we keep going back to the Gleaner Combine is our trade and value. We find actually that our, uh, our Gleaner Combines are uh, not losing value, they're actually gaining value. We do trade every year, but the, the, one of the best things is, is that, I mean, these things hold their value. Uh, I would definitely say if anybody was in the market for a combine, would definitely seriously have to to uh, look at the Gleaner line. I don't know what else you would be looking for in a machine that, that Gleaner doesn't offer today. I guess it would be the way I would put it. And like I said, we definitely looked when we was in the market. We definitely looked at uh, every color. And uh, we was, you know, when we came back to Gleaner, we felt comfortable that, that we made that decision. And we're not uh, disappointed today that we have.